This week on Behind the Mic, Strange Love Live, the story of Cami Chaos and Dr. Normal, with an exclusive behind-the-scenes look at how they bring tech and cleavage to podcasting. Good evening. This is Strange Love, and I'm your host, Cami Chaos. Welcome, babies. Tell me about Strange Love Live. How did it start? Uh, we were doing a song contest for my for my blog. It was a holiday song contest. I came down in the studio. We were recording the setup for it, and then Doctor Normal said, "Oh, Merry Christmas." I got a podcast for you. And then we had a podcast. So we were dating and uh, having phone sex. And I said, God, this girl's got a great voice for radio. My first job was as a telemarketer when I was 17. There is absolutely no truth to the rumor that I did phone sex operations. Uh, As a telemarketer, I had to call people and arrange appointments. And I figured out at some point that if I talked like this and not just talked to the husbands, it was a lot easier for me to schedule an appointment for someone. So I just said... Talking in the mic, just, yeah, bring it sexy, sexier, sexier, more, stop. After my uh, talents were done being exploited, I agreed to do the podcast. So, how did you come up with the name Strange Love Live? It was strange. We were in love. I have no idea. I love Depeche Mode. Uh, yeah, I, I have no idea. Flavor Flav, for the win. I have no idea. Because Love Strange Live sounded dumb. Duh. I have no idea. I have no idea. Tell us a little bit about the tech. I've got the condenser mics lashed to the tube preamps coming out of the 16-channel mixing board, sweet and stereo to the recorder. The tech, well... I talk into this microphone, I hear it in these headphones, and look, it's on my iPhone. What's the raison d'etre behind the show? I like to try out new cocktail recipes on my unsuspecting victims. There's nothing like running around on a Friday night like an incomprehensible moron trying to get the stream to take. How else am I supposed to lure geeks into my basement? Have I mentioned we used to go wine tasting on Friday nights? Why do you do the show live? You record it, don't you? Because we can't make anything easy. So I said to Cammie, great idea. Let's turn on the webcam while we record the show. Great idea, right? If we don't record at 10 o'clock on Friday night, we're never going to get around to it. And then Twitter went down. And then everybody's in the chat room commenting on how my new boots look. And then the live stream craps out. And Twitter is still down. What's your favorite thing to do when the show is over? Sleep. What, the show's over? We've just heard about the origins of Strange Love Live. Now, we take a closer look Inside the minds of the show's creative duo. I was a really unhappy kid. I had these really thick, ugly glasses that just made me look like the biggest dork on the planet. And that was probably a big contributor to the unhappiness. So instead of actually talking to other kids, I just started writing and writing and writing until I was 13. And I decided that I was done being a dork. So I took off my glasses and started wearing all black and started dating boys with mohawks and pissing off my parents. And I still wrote, but I was a lot happier. It was the 60s and the 70s, and to a kid in grade school then, men were walking on the moon, uh, Star Trek was on TV, and uh, so I was a geek. And uh, it was nothing but science and sci-fi. And then uh, I joined band, and I was told I was no good. Um, so I, because it was hard, I kind of dedicated myself to do music. Plus, uh, I eventually wanted to get laid. So while all the other girls were having PJ parties and watching chick flicks, I was, you know, watching Star Trek and Star Wars and old Barney Miller repeats, some mash. 
and, you know, hanging out and doing stuff. And writing, still writing. I was always writing. So I took my music through college and professionally for a while, but computing was on the rise, and that was a real head turner for the geek in me. Uh, and plus, I eventually wanted to eat. So I've spent the last uh, 20 years in the industry. When I moved to Portland, I kind of did my own thing for a while. You do what you do when you're young. You hang out. Worked at a design firm for a while. After that, I worked at an internet cafe. Well, I hung out there, and then I worked at an internet cafe in two incarnations. Uh, one, everything was Pine-based, and it took me a while to kind of get the hang of that, all the command codes and the typing. And But after a while, it was just what I was used to. In the second incarnation, it was Windows machines, and that was a lot of, you know, clicking and, why isn't it working? Button pushing. But I really liked making coffee. I still do that for Dr. Normal. So it was over 10 years ago, high-speed internet was rolling out, and I was playing with Shoutcast and thinking about doing like an online radio show, but that never came to be, but I did develop a website that does a lot of things WordPress does today, and um, released some CDs and even made a short movie where the main character is like a mobile blogger. So I stopped writing for a while, and I think that drove Dr. Normal crazy because I had all this built-up creative energy, so he suggested I start a blog which I did. And I took to it really well. I blogged every day. I was really happy. Then I did my vidcasts. Uh, and those were fun, except for I broke my camera. And then I did a guest spot or two on a friend's podcast. And I, I wonder if that's where we got the idea. I wonder if that's where Dr. Normal got the idea to do our show. What are people saying? about Strange Love Live. Hi, I'm Don Park. Strange Love Live is the best place to meet tech personalities in Portland without actually meeting them. And it's compatible with my Android G1 phone. <laughs> so watch it Friday nights at 8 or 9 or 10. Strange Love Live, the best way to find new tips on... <laughs> it's an amazing way to find out what... And the best uh, Christmas music on my Excuse me. Strange Love Live puts a spring in my step. Strange Love Live? Cammy, did those hurt? Strange Love Live, fighting the good fight against all boy podcasts. Strange Love Live, it'll mess you up. Who's your dream guest? Which Doctor Who would I have? TV's George Takai. Would you ever trade places for an episode? No! Join us next week for more tech and more after hours on Strange Love Live. Mm -hmm.